Sequels are a chance for movies to not only improve upon the concept of the first, but improve upon mistakes made in the first, and refine the skills used to make the first as well. But some sequels... Some sequels are made by people who did not learn a goddamn thing the first time. Some sequels are shit out at the behest of everyone just because there's still some use of the props of the first movie. Take a wild guess what kind of sequel this one is. So how is Jack Frost back? And is his annoying ass sense of humor back too? Let's start riffing and find out. So the flick takes place a year after the first one and opens with what I honestly think all horror sequels should start with. So the main character in what therapy. Like talk about this? Though judging from how this session goes, I'm not entirely sure he's a licensed Jack therapist. Frost, he changed. <laughs> Why don't you tell us? Me. Tell me what he became. I'm sorry, is this guy a therapist for the village people? What are they all wearing? A mutant killer snowman. This is both the only time and the most people that have ever found the events of the first movie funny. And then that frost snowman started to take apart my town. But tell us how you finally stopped! <laughs> that was nothing, simply a, 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 a phone sex line. For you. Merry, Merry Christmas? So anyway, the FBI, I think, dig up the jack juice and do a bunch of stock footage looking experiments on it for a reason that is not explained or mentioned or ever even referenced again. Then they rate the various drafts of the script. And finally, he's resurrected when the janitor bumps into the tank of jack juice and accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, Chemical X. What the fuck was in that cup? What was that scientist drinking? Hmm? Oh yeah, Four Loco really do be doing that. Anyway, Sheriff Sam and his wife from the first flick are off to the destination wedding of their friends Joe and Ann. That's funny, Joe Ann. That's... Is their last name gonna be Fabrics? Their son is not going because hopefully they realized what a nefarious little shit he was and he's probably also in an unmarked grave. And where exactly is this destination wedding? A hotel with a pool and tiki bar is all you're ever going to see of this place, so who gives a shit? But just for fun, throughout the movie, let's try to figure it out. Ah, yes, splendid! Alright, so definitely a place that's been colonized. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. I can't believe we're here, you guys. Ah, now, now that's Rose, Ashley and Paisley. <laughs> Here we go. First vacation without the parents. <laughs> now, now they think they're looking for adventure. However, what they'll discover is the true meaning of friendship. What, are you writing fanfic about the guests? So, what if I am? Are you in all the fanfics? No. This handsome chap by the name of Lord Byron Slamswell is. Isn't that sweet? Look at this light. You can slip my throat now, I've seen it all. I say, I say scrumptious, eh? <laughs> now, now they're here on a calendar shoot. A calendar shoot and a bunch of college girls. Okay, this is definitely a porn hotel, isn't it? You must be the porter. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Oh, oh, no, quite. No, here for the jolly old wedding, eh? <laughs> well, welcome to the Tropicana, eh? And where is the Tropicana exactly? Oh, yes, here for your second honeymoon. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just here to relax. Oh, oh, no, no. No, all arranged by your husband here. Yes. <laughs> You'll be in our second honeymoon suite, eh? <laughs> this man is too British. He's like one smashing away from becoming Nigel Thornberry. So, for some reason, we cut to these two random ass people on a lifeboat in the middle of the ocean, and to make things even more random, one of them is Doug Jones, who, if you don't know who Doug Jones is, it's because he's always in makeup, but that's Abe Sapien. That's the f fucking Shape of Water fish man. That's Billy Butcherson from Hocus Pocus. That's Doug Jones. What is he doing? Is I hope he's not the one in the Jack Frost costume for this movie because that would be a new low for him. Yes, even lower than playing the Bye Bye Man. We don't need a compass. We don't need a compass. What do we need a compass for? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I'm hungry. It's not time. It's never a good time to eat your own shit and drink your own piss, but I think this is like one of those rare opportunities where it's okay to. And this is mine. No. All mine. No! Guys, I don't know if you realize this, but you guys are on land. 
which makes this scene immensely funnier by accident. Closer, closer. Charlie? Was that whole scene just so Jack Frost can get a carrot? There's a kitchen at the hotel, Jack. Huh? There's a party and I'm not invited? Someone's gonna pay. Dude, look at this party. Do you wanna go? I mean, there's definitely some snow, but not the kind that you're made of. Uh, Bobby's Angels! What can I get for you girls? I'll have an Asahi. Ooh, Asahi sounds good. I'll have an Asahi too. Yeah, I make mine an Asahi. Was Jack Frost 2 funded by Asahi? And I have three boys on the side. <laughs> oh, let me see what I can wrestle up. Ooh, by the fountain, Hawaiian shirt, beer. No, he's so grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, umbrella, white tea, coconut cocktail. Closet. No way. Oh, yes way. Oh. I think what you guys are looking for is behind door number three. Oh, bad boys. Hi there again. Ma'am, you can do better than a guy who was in Jack Frost 2. Then again, you're in Jack Frost 2. Mm, what have we here? <gasps> no, seriously, guys. Three of us, two of them. Well, Dean is... So cute. Uh huh. He's all mine. Says who? No, if he was flirting with me any harder, he would have been arrested. The hay was hard flirting? That's worthy of an arrest? Wait, how old are you guys? <laughs> okay, girls, this fire's dying. While you two fight it out, I'm going to get more charcoal. Charcoal? I was feeling a little underdressed. Is this whole movie just gonna be him slowly gathering the pieces it takes to make a snowman? Because who the fuck is gonna be here with scarves? Ladies and gentlemen, Steven Tyler. Oh, never mind, he's got scarves for days now. What is this, a fucking Wile E. Coyote cartoon? Oh, fuck it! I need to stop manifesting stupid shit. With great power comes great responsibility. I'll help her out. Hey, Ash. Save that squirting for when the boys get here, Ash. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the ice spikes. She a baddie, she show her I said ice spikes. She shake it like jelly. Ooh, tongs! I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't know whether to shit myself or grab the barbecue sauce. <laughs> Who are you? Winter. Get away from me! Ooh, feisty! I like it. Where are you? Oh, baby, I'm here. Or maybe I'm here. Maybe I'm here. Maybe I'm here. Or maybe... I'm right here! Jesus, lady. You could tell she nailed that audition because of her scream. Because the rest of her performance was... I mean, thank God she's not the final girl. Dude, I'd rather stay in the Barbarian house than deal with Captain Fun. Nothing scares me more than a peppy white person on the job. Disney World? Terrifying place. Well, how about I just hurry over there, give you a morning hug, then come back over here? <laughs> no. <laughs> Honey, we sleep together at home. Yeah, well, we don't have We're Captain Fun at home. Flakes need more raisins, Bobby. And milk. There's no milk on the table. Mm, yes. Need a dash of paprika. 
oregano and a hint of rosemary. Trip was lovely. Tropical setting was beautiful. Old British man kept dipping his fork in all the foods in the buffet and saying they weren't good enough. Oh, and a snowman killed all my friends. One star. What have we here? Oh, yes. Fruit salad needs some orange, Bobby. Oh, what a spread. Oh, this is living. It wasn't like this in India, you know. Lucky if you've got a plate. Did the music just do like a cliche racist Indian sound when he said India? There is. What if I. China. All right, all right, nothing to be alarmed about. Oh, whatever it is, I've seen it all before. Yeah. Back in India, I had to saw my best friend's leg off with a broken. There it is again. Japan. Yo! Oh. Take point. Grizzly sight. <laughs> You two are uh, staying in the hotel. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Well, uh, how about your room service bill is on us and you, uh, you never saw a thing, eh? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. All settled then. Off we go. <laughs> saw the bloodiest fucking group of dead rotting corpses that were mangled beyond recognition. Room service was free though, three stars. <laughs> All right, what up now? Another coconut fall on somebody's head. Get me the head of island security. Get me manners. Oh no, not the scary dude. Yes. The scary dude. <laughs> not so fast. Scary dude's already here. Where is he then? Is he standing behind this tropical solid snake looking asshole? Ah, oh, manners. Uh, nasty business this. Uh, sorted out in time for tea. Eh? You got a third MV on the beach. No, MV, no, you've lost me. Murder victim? Murder? Nonsense. Shark attack. <laughs> yeah, would a shark do this? Depends on which shark we're talking about. You know, the Meg? Sharktopus? Sharknado? Jaws? Deep blue sea sharks? Land shark? Santa Jaws? A two-headed shark? Ghost shark? Avalanche shark? Zombie shark? Six-headed shark? Cocaine shark? My money's on Shark Boy. I heard screaming. Is everyone all right? Yes, yes, yes. Everyone's everyone's fine. Yes, <laughs> slight um, accident. Nothing serious. Uh, there's a body. It's just a uh, murder attack. Another attack of the murderous coconut shark. <laughs> murderous coconut shark. Now there's one I haven't heard. Of. And Sci-Fi Channel just made it a movie. Oh, no, no. Last year in Snowman. Trust me, Sheriff. You've got the wrong guy. Well, then how do you know that I'm a sheriff? Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at me. Look at my face. Look what he did to my face. Fifteen operations to make it like this. Ten of those, I was being a cheapskate. I went to a surgeon in Tijuana. Stole my eyeball. Learned my lesson. Colonel, you got a murderer on the loose? Nonsense. Shark attack. And a very nasty cooking accident. Cooking? Uh, now look. There's no need for alarm until the authorities tell us otherwise. Go back in India, those Punjab bollers. He's gotta stop saying India. Mexico. So we then cut to a photo shoot for something. Uh, I'm guessing these snowboards with like the sick puppy on them. And Jax, he's a sexy model, and I'm already worried about what I'm gonna have to blur out. This is so working. Snowboarding equipment on a tropical island. Someone tell me I'm not a genius. Greg, you're not a genius. Joke, Sarah. Remember? I explained those to you on the plane. Right. She wasn't joking. You're stupid and basic. I'm getting a zero on the nipply scale. Oh. I'm sorry. It's just that it's so hot out. You kidding, right? I'm looking at him in 480p and I can see him clear as day. Wow. Oh, thank you. Ugh. God, I hate this. It's so cold. <laughs> God, I must have been a good boy this year. I know I say this a lot, but that is Romeo definitely Romeo. somebody's fetish, though, right? Oh, Jack, one more thing. Could I have an iced coffee? Ice coffee? Good idea. Come on, boys, everybody into the pool. Jack Frost is like that kid in school who refused to let there be a quiet moment in class. In other words, shut up. Oh, this one is from all of us. Oh, I Oh, he's into Vor. Duh. Wait, if someone drinks Jack Frost, does, does he get pissed out? I'm ready. Let's try this. 
Nice car. Why is he collecting Beautiful. snowman parts like infinity stones? Okay, Sarah. Big smile. <sighs> All right, what's the lame joke, huh? Mind blown? Brain freeze? Oh, I guess it was decapitated coffee. That's not a decap. Never mind. I'm gonna forgive you because that was a gory kill. Oh, you look so beautiful. Hold that pose. Oh, lovely, lovely. Now for your close-up. in the eyes. Honey. Did you hear that? You guys hear that? Sounded like screaming and a bad Sam Kinison impression. The wind in the palm trees. Children laughing, the arrows flying. People in the pool, cocktail shakers. People laughing in the pool, people flirting, people making out in the stairwell, people making out in a room, people's wives catching them, gunshots, people's wives screaming and hiding bodies. Honey, you have amazing hearing. Sam, you have to go through whatever it is you have to go through. I just... He's not still going on about Frosty Boy, is he? Marla. Sam, come on, enough is enough. So we had a really crappy Christmas last year. Life goes on, except for Jack Frost. And like the seven people Jack Frost killed last time who are our closest and dearest friends. But like, get over it, man. We're in... This part of the country. Is is this part of the country? I'll have this feeling of some, something whispering to me. And... Maybe it's your time of month. <laughs> who knows? Sam, we love you, but you're getting boring. Getting? And annoying. Meet me in reception in ten minutes. Who is that? Don't oh. turn around. Someone might be watching. Yeah, who? Your wife. Hon, why is there a Kurt Russell impersonator sniffing your neck? Pig. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Sam, I think you know our director of Island Entertainment. Oh, sure. Captain Fun. That's just an undercover name while he was working for me. Oh, what's his real name? Officer Fun. So Manners and what's Captain the... Fun hatch up a plan Trust to lure me. the killer out into the open. The plan? Costume party. Why? Because the costume department ran out of tropical bikinis and Hawaiian shirts and they had to make a run to Party City for something. He looks like the lead singer of any band that has a song in the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack. Oh my god! What have you done? That was our only snowman costume for this movie. Why do you think we haven't shown Jack Frost? Now we like actually have to try. Now, we can't have the guests attacking the staff. It's just not on. I didn't think it was you, sir. If I did, I would have finished the job. So Sam gets gaslit by his wife and friends even more because if you expected Jack Frost 2 to have a nuanced take on PTSD, then you probably also can't afford therapy like me. Anyway, we don't have much nameless cannon fodder left to kill, so let's get this lady out of the way. In a death that I think is probably the tamest, but also the scariest, this chick drowns when Jack freezes the surface of the water. And the last thing she sees is this. And how is he even less scary looking than the last movie? You know what? I feel like a cold one. Hmm. Or 12. <laughs> Tonight's weather report. 20% chance of frostbite and a 100% chance of death. Who, 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 who is that? Do we know her? Is it just some like, random lady that got, is this like a, is this a stock photo? Honey? What, sweetie? I'm having that dream again. That's okay, honey. I know you'd never leave me for Claudia Schiffer. No, 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 not that one, the other one. No, not that one. Or the Brooke Shields one. Or the Heidi Klum one. Or the Naomi Campbell one. Or the Tyra Banks one. A few minutes later. Or the Sidney Crawford one. Or the Kate Moss one. Or the two hours later. Or the Sandra Bullock one. Or the Michelle Pfeiffer one. Definitely not the one where they're all in an orgy together. Honey, you still there? What's happening, Sam? 
Someone put Molly in the punch bowl at that costume party because it's 3 a.m. and everyone is pumped. Temperature doesn't just drop 70 degrees. Oh, actually, Sam, on Christmas Eve in 1924 in Fairfield, Montana, <laughs> temperature dropped 84 degrees in just 12 hours. Where do you get this stuff? Discovery Channel. And let's see what's on the Discovery Channel now. Oh, that's funny. That's how that chick in the pool died. Warm beer, frozen pole. <laughs> I don't get it. Look, dude, you gotta put your tongue to the pole. What, dude, do you think I'm stupid? You agreed to be in this movie, so yeah. Hey, look, chicks. Huh? Ah! Uh. Don't let me! Ah! Anybody out there? Help! Yeah, dude, uh. what's up? I'm so used to hearing him scream all the time that this voice is making me uncomfortable. Oh, bummer. Let me help you. Oh, thanks, dude. Nah, this might sting a bit, bro. What's up, man? Kawatunga, dude. I like to think that dude was stuck on the pole for like a good 20 minutes because Jack was having a hard time thinking of a good pun. Oh, no. Scam. Oh, oh my god! Another holly jolly Christmas. What a smart move. He's killing them with snow and ice. The murder weapons will melt. No trace. No fingerprints. What what do you we already know who it is? This is concentrated antifreeze, and I've been wearing it around my neck for a year, just waiting for you to show your ugly face again. Now, it's time for you to die again, Jack. Are you ready to scream? I've never related to a snowman before, but this one's expression just sums it all up for me. Jack? Oh, you remember how sweet of you. <laughs> oh, gotta go! Whee! When can Jack Frost teleport like Scorpion? How did you know? I don't know. It's as if we're linked somehow, as if I'm a part of him or he's a part of me. I knew a Jack Frost is a venom. Guys! Guys, we can't just barricade ourselves in here. Oh, I don't know, and this could be the first sane thought Sam's had in a year. Seal ourselves in for the night sounds good to me. Yeah. No! We have to find the others and warn them. They're so important to you, what are their names? Uh... British man? Jamaican man? Gay man. Captain Fun is straight. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll go. The island's my responsibility. I'll go with you. And I'll... No, Joe, you stay here. That's what I was going to say. Every movie gets one good joke. Remember, the night Jack was melted, Sam was wounded, right? Mm -hmm. Bleeding into the antifreeze. Well... Maybe somehow their DNA got mixed up together. So that's why Sam has chlamydia. Oh, honey. Sure. So Sam and Manners go to warn the others, and Sam has to explain to them just exactly what is happening, and it's also probably exactly how the writer pitched this movie to people. Jack Frost is a cold-blooded killing machine. Now, he's, he's also made of uh, genetically altered water molecules. I'm sorry, that's, that's usually the place where people start laughing at me. And they get gallons of antifreeze <laughs> ready to melt Jack down again. <laughs> this is ingenious, Sheriff. Do you know, back in India, we once called... France. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't come telling me. Bobby, somebody's got to be the beat. No. Don't worry, Bobby. I'll do it. It's me he's after. It's me you'll come for. Don't worry. I got your back. Thanks. Maybe don't. That sound effect's starting to piss me off. Why did Asahi sponsor this movie? 
So the plan is simple, make Jack Frost trip into a fountain of antifreeze. How to make a footless creature trip? I don't know, but it works and Jack melts and kind of looks delicious while doing so. Reminds me of marshmallows and hot chocolate. Fire! Shoot! Fire! Shoot! Something! Oh, please, this again! Come off it! Oh. What is he rubbing? What is he rubbing? Yes, that should kill you. The antifreeze should kill you! Well, let me explain to you the inherent dangers of unregulated genetic experimentation. You see? Oh, oh. excuse me. I must have swallowed more than I thought. Oh, somebody get me a Pepto. Okay. I'm out of here. Did... Did he just get so embarrassed that he puked and ran away? Because that's the most relatable he's ever been. How long now? Fifteen minutes. I'm telling you, it's just an ordinary snowball. There's only one way to find out what this ball is. Ow, fuck! Okay, that's definitely a testicle. That isn't the cutest little thing. Oh yeah, regular sweetheart. Don't get too close. Bubba. Oh god, they're gonna do a gremlins? Oh god, kill me now. I was I was joking. I was joking. A guillotine? What are you, an old testament god? Oh my god. Did you hear that? Bubba! Oh. Yeah, I'll be your dad, huh? You know, well, who's your little fella? You might get a jelly ready, huh? Oh, well, you cute little fucker, buddy. Hey, psst, buddy. He's a 20. Do me a favor. Get rid of Captain Fun, will you? Kill Baba! Huh? Great job. And hey, lady, he's a 20. That's for the frying pan thing. Good stuff, good stuff. What? If you find any more of those snowballs, don't go near them. And that would be because... They look faker and stupider up close. That music sting dies with him. All right, come now. If we have to stay in here long, we can eat him. All right, we need to find containers. Containers with lids that close tightly. Jars, bottles, anything that we can trap these little creeps in. And what are you doing? Wasting food. I'm saving the day. Definitely not that. I finally get it. This movie looks like a Halloween episode of Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> it's like if the third Ghostbusters movie had like the budget of a last minute school project that's due tomorrow. Is Asahi still even around? You don't scare me, my chilly little friends. Yeah. Back in India, I was once caught by the Punabe. Dude, you're not in India anymore, all right? This is America. <laughs> Snap out of it. Now, what is your name? Well, well, my real name is Amanda. My friends, they like to call me Mc Amanda. Uh -huh. I am going to get you out of here. Now, we are heading down to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, what was that? Like, hold on. <laughs> Remember not like three minutes ago when she said she was going to save the day? I think that was literally like the last people left alive on this island. 
Okay, so for your sanity and mine, I'm just gonna skip over all these even Stevens ass hijinks and shenanigans with these snowballs and get to the point. Since Jack Frost and Sam share DNA now, that means Jack is also allergic to bananas. And I don't like seeing food be wasted in movies, so I'm probably gonna hate the next few minutes. Oh, that's Bobby's Island Daiquiri. It got light rum, just a dash of maraschino, lemon juice, half a teaspoon of sugar, and half a banana blended to perfection. By the way, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't think that guy's really Jamaican. God, look at them waste all those bananas. It just makes me want to cry. No, DK, don't look. Wow, this banana mix is really working. Yeah, I put a bit of napalm in there too. Where did you get- why now? Suck. Drink from my nose. That better be your eye, Jack. What time has it been for the last hour and a half? Murder time. Look too good either, would it? <laughs> we'll just say the plane arrived. Nobody on board. <laughs> this is worse than my time in 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 dear. Jack reproduces asexually. Huh. Well, at least we're never gonna see a snowman with tits. I hear you drawing over there. Put that pencil down. Now, is this also Vor? Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, you should have heard your baby scream, Jack! You should have heard him scream! You know he's running out of puns when he has to say, get it? Also, that was definitely Vor. Hey, Jack. Huh? Get this. Oi. Oh, crap. Anne! 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 Anne's hand. Where's the rest of you, Anne? <laughs> oh, fuck, I hate Christmas. Hey, Sam, why are we walking towards the beach? Sam? Sam, why is there rocks in your pockets? Sam, put me down. Sam. Say a little, little. Oh, Sam. So that was Jack. No, shut up. I don't care. I don't care. There's no part three. It's over. It's done with. I don't care. It's done. I fucking hate these movies. All right. They're like one dick away from a porn and one music number away from a Disney Channel original movie. And the middle ground between those two things is hell for me. All right. So I don't think I can even handle a third. Next week's movie better be a movie of better quality in story, acting, and effects because. There's gotta be some tinsel I can make into a noose around here somewhere, right?